Hey everybody, how's it going? Um, I'm Narad and uh, this is just um, a little vlog that, I've, uh, that I'm going to try to put together uh, because today I'm having my first experience of an EFL match um, so in a little bit I'll be traveling to uh, Port Vale versus Leighton Orient uh, very excited, uh, it's you know League 2 level so very decent and yeah hopefully it should be a good match the experience um, obviously th big thanks to my university, Staffordshire University who've been kind enough to let me be part of the team um, that is attending the game as part of the uh, press. So it's a, it's a very, very interesting learning experience for me uh, to be able to attend the game and watch it from the press box and hopefully be able to attend the post-match press conference later as well. So that should be good. And yeah, I'm looking forward to it. Uh, it's, it's, so it's, it's really rainy outside today. Um, not sure how the weather's gonna be ahead of kickoff. But yeah, hopefully it should be a good game and uh, a good memory to look back on. So uh, hopefully this vlog is a um, enjoyable one for you guys. And yeah, this is <laughs> this is the first time I'm doing something like this. So if it's a bit drawn out and a little bit boring here and there, so uh, sorry for that. But yeah, um, I'm gonna head to the stadium now, and I will see you later then. So I've made my way to the stadium. So it looks gonna be outside. People are standing in line, big giant. And yeah, now I'm going to look for the press entrance from where I can get my instructions for what to do next. And yeah, this is this is Whale Park, the home of Port Whale FC, established in 1876. As you can see, the weather is really lovely. And yeah, hopefully it should be a good game for everyone to enjoy. Thank you. Alright, that's about it for now. This is the media lounge. Pretty cool. The first line, Mark Moon, twenty George Wallace, twenty two Dennis Politic, and twenty six Aiden Stone. Officials at Mail Park today. Today's referee is Mr. Christopher Sargentson. Oh my god. Oh my god. Don't forget, after this afternoon, next up at Mail Park is this coming Tuesday night. Tuesday, the 5th of October, the 7th of October. Sorry, man. Alright, second half kickoff. It's 1-0, James Wilson is over the score. Let's see how it goes. Well, got there. Got there. All the fans have almost left the stadium now. That's final score is 3-2. Really, really good game. Very enjoyable. So, yeah, remember the first game. Let's hope we see more of the rest. Alright, so I'm back. I'm back to my accommodation now. What a game. What a, what a memorable first game it was. Uh, Port Vale ended the match 3-2 as the winners against Leighton Orient. Um, brilliant, brilliant um, last five minutes. Um, so it was 1-1 and then uh, with 5 minutes to go it was 2-1 because uh, Leighton Orient got an own goal um, courtesy of the number 3 of Port Vale, I can't remember his name at the moment. 
but uh, Thomas James, I think that's, the, yeah, Thomas James, he scored for Lake Norwich and then made it 2-1. And then uh, the substitute for Port Vale, Dennis Politic, um, scored the equalizer for them, made it 2-2. And then uh, James Jamie Proctor, he scored uh, the winner of the game in extra time and it was brilliant, brilliant atmosphere. Uh, as I'm sure you've seen in the footage that um, you know, preceded this, um, and yeah, it was it was truly a memorable, memorable experience. I, it was a, there was a bit of everything. There was uh, you know drama. There was um, there was <laughs> there was a little bit of comedy, and there was there was a lot of uh, there were a lot of interesting chants, <laughs> I'd say, uh, raised against the away players. But th I think that's that's what you get when you attend. EFL games like this, but yeah, overall brilliant atmosphere, brilliant game, and fantastic end to a really, really interesting game. I thought Port Vale were dominant in the first half. Late Orient came out a completely different side in the second half, um, took control of the game, and obviously got the goals as well. And um, they sort of, I think, they improved on their shortcomings in the first half, and obviously. Um, I think Port Vale found it difficult to keep up their intensity in the second half, but with the substitutes, um, Amu, Dennis Politic, uh, and Jake Taylor, they they sort of, they sort of found a new gear with five minutes to go, which was incredible because uh, even though they had created chances even before that, they could not take those, and which was a shame because I think uh, if they had taken their chances, the game could have been a very different story. But I'm glad that it wasn't because the dramatic ending was just something. Something to you know, something to cherish for a very long time. Um, so yeah, with this uh, with this match, I think I am very much looking forward to every EFL game that I will attend. Henceforth, obviously every game will not have so much drama. Um, some may be less entertaining, but you know, that's that's how that's football. That's how it goes. Um, and yeah, this was my experience today. It was it was quite something to be part of the press box and. Yeah, a big thanks to my university as well because they, without them, this is, this could not have been possible. And hopefully, I can attend many, many more games and gain more experience as time goes on, and maybe attend a couple of games in the away end or in the home end, and you know, join in with the fans uh, because they seriously looked like they were just they were enjoying it. It was it was incredible um, because watching the game on TV and then watching it live. There's, there's, it's, it's completely different. You think about the difference, but then when you're actually there and you're actually seeing how things are unraveling in front of your very eyes and then how people are reacting to every ball being kicked, every goal being scored, every pass being made, every mistake, every correct decision, every dribble, it's just it's just something else. And it's it's an experience to be had definitely. And I'm, I'm very, very grateful uh, that I had this first, uh, first match under my belt. So thank you to Portway for giving us an entertaining game, late Norrent as well. Uh, brilliant game from both sides. But I think Portway were in the end our uh, deserved winners. And yeah, uh, that that result brings them to the uh, top four. Now they are third in the table. Obviously still early days of the season, long, long, long time to go for the season to end. But yeah, hopefully uh, by the end of it, they are thereabouts in the promotion places and then you know, uh, you never know, once you're in the playoffs, anything can happen. So we'll see how they do. And yeah, I'm looking forward to my next game. And we'll, we'll see how it goes. Uh, but yeah, thank you for watching. If you've watched this far, I, th I hope you've had a, a small taste of how things work here um, in stadiums and how it is to attend a match and how it is to be uh, a journalist here. And attend the match from a journalist's perspective. I tried to take down as many match notes as I could, you know, writing down about important events that go went on throughout the match. Um, so because we were there attending as journalists, we were also able to watch the manager speak to the club media after the game, and he spoke really eloquently about their performances. He was not very carried away. Um, and then, you know, obviously Dennis Politic was also there. He spoke. So it was very surreal to be <laughs> in the same room as an EFL manager and an EFL player. Um, but yeah, incredible experience and I'm very grateful. And yeah, I'm very much looking forward to my next one. So thank you for watching and take care and stay safe. Bye-bye.